Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm still here with Zen. And we're gonna send oh. send you flying. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve for a little kid. Go ahead just and try it. your monster. What are you what the fuck are you gonna do about it, dude? Man, this guy just saw me literally kill this giant monster and he's just like, fuck you. Look at my tiny handshake. <laughs> General White is defeated. Did Goku just kill him? <laughs> Did uh, yeah, I think so. Off screen, too. We didn't even get, like, a resolution. Wow. Thank you. Thanks for... <laughs> you murdered that man and found the Dragon Ball. <laughs> hey, it was easy. Okay. That... Find the next ball, Flying Nimbus. Bye. <laughs> I gotta say, I really do like how this game abridges the uh, very long story of Dragon Ball into, like, one scene. Yeah, it's literally just like, hey, Goku, this thing is happening. Oh, okay. And then you fight a guy, and it's like, okay, that thing is fixed. All right, peace out. Oh, this is where we're going to meet good old pedophile Blue. Dragon radar was broken, and Goku found us I'm unable to go on. He went to Bulma to fix it. This is just seriously telling us like all the stuff that happened to, as to why we're inside the underwater cave. <laughs> Elaborate. If Blue is a pedophile? I thought he was just gay. No, he's a pedophile. Didn't you never, you don't remember? Because he was like going to Obachan and he's like, I want to fuck this boy. He really? Yeah. You should, I again, General Blue is a pedophile. They they hide it because, um, at least in the English dub, they hide him uh, talking to, um, talking to Obachan by saying like, oh, he looks just like my little brother. When his actual line is, I really like this boy. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, I'm sorry to break your illusions of General Blue so badly. Oh, man, I, oh my god. Uh, the cave is pretty complex, fuck. so be careful. You, you are just completely, oh, this Bulma Sprite, that's not bad. I feel like it's kind of top-heavy and she it's looks... not great. No, it's not, it's not the best Bulma Sprite out there, but... You know. You got some, either some gigantic thighs or gigantic calves. I don't know which one. Yeah, she kind of like look, a, a satyr. She looks like a like a. She got a Barbie body for sure. <laughs> Whatever I can tell. All right, <laughs> see you later, girl. I'm gonna go fight some bats in this underwater cave. I can't believe you respawned. Stay there, I guess. Hey, yeah, I'll see. I'll say you later. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh damn it! I am, I, am, <laughs> I am still shaken that apparently I've been using a pedophile in the world tournament for years. There you go. That's why I don't use them. That's why I use a uh, Jacko or Chiaotzu. Two people who I assume like women. <laughs> Chiaotzu is kind Jaco? of... Jacko mm. is the boy wife. One moment, because now I'm afraid that they're going to fucking hit me into this goddamn cave. Uh, what were you saying about Jacko being the boy wife? What? I think, do you think that Jacko is like the male version of the species that Jacko's wife comes from? Oh, you know what? Yeah, from, um, that might be possible. They do kind of look similar. The only difference is that Chaco is, uh, white, and the other, the little girl was, I believe, green, and she's also not a little girl. I guess the the, the woman of that species. She might be a little girl. Maybe, maybe Saiyans operate on Game of Thrones rules. It could be. I know Vegeta for, uh, his brother looks extremely small, so maybe he's just passing as a teen, and he's like, don't blow my, don't blow my cover, brother. Blow my cover. Also, like how this is apparently the pedophile episode where we try and talk about uh, everything that's problematic about Dragon Ball. Uh, but yeah, General Blue. All this time, you never knew. That's uh, that's always what's Did not. I, I mean, I knew he was like a creepy fucking guy, but yeah, he's definitely a creepo. You just didn't know how creepy he was, but they kind of... Yeah, kinda... I just didn't know. I, I didn't know it extend. I mean, there's levels to it, and I, I didn't know it extended that far. Yeah, he's uh, he's something else. And uh, this is not to say, like, oh, man, stop using him in the world tournament. It just means, like, yeah, this is something that's always been with this character, but it's always just... Can I just stay stand here and these guys just I... die? I didn't need to fight at all. Stop fighting them through the spears. <laughs> it's not working out. Apparently so. Um... But yeah, that's General Blue. Uh, he's not a pedophile in um, Mystical Adventure, so therefore he, that's the best role he's ever had because he's not he's not that. 
uh yeah the the so that's why you shouldn't feel so bad when tao fucking licks him to death security cameras in this cave Uh, yeah i don't know dude i did triggering that security camera not do anything (laughs) it's very bad security in this cave this cave that is filled with bats and wolf men (laughs) no wolves yet Oh, the man, he was guarding that one burger, and now Goku has it. Sorry, that burger ain't gonna do shit. Ah, damn it. Your bullets, they kind of tickle. Man. All right. So let's get back into it. Yeah, so General Blue, not a good dude at all. Um, Back to what we were talking about. Yes. Uh, apparently. Oh, yeah, it was uh, the Nintendo, Sony stuff. But the point is is that you should always hold companies at to put their feet to the fire. Otherwise, you get situations like Nintendo 64. Otherwise, you get situations like PS3. You get you get just, like, complete shit shows where it's like, did no one really think this through? <laughs> Were you guys just, like... You get, you get what ends up being Xbox One as well. Because Xbox One was also built on the idea of what Sony thought, which is like, we already got these fuckers, they're just going to come with us. Not knowing that people were already kind of tired of their shit, so they really needed to actually make it seem like they cared. And then they came out and (laughs) said like, do you want to watch football while playing Madden? (laughs) Well, congratulations, the Xbox One is for you. And everyone else was like, I don't know. It is not for you in any way. No, it ended up being, like, not for you at all. Also, I think those bats just kept killing themselves over those spikes all leave. But that's the idea. Here's then... the thing, at the end of the day, when it comes to Nintendo. Yes, yes. Is and... that, um, at the end of the day, they're still a company. It doesn't matter how many good designers are in there, how many people make good games. They're still a company that needs to make money. And they're, a we- I'll, give, I'll give them this, they are an extremely weird company, just in terms of Japanese studios. Just because most Japanese companies are like Konami, where it's like, they don't always have one egg in the basket. I think Nintendo mainly only had video games up until they started doing some theme park stuff. But they've, they're they weird, but that doesn't mean that they should be not be like... They, they're they not like the savior that they think that you think they are. They're still just a company trying yeah, to do their best. They're not here for you. They're here for them. Yeah. They can get you to think by masking stuff like the Wii or the fragile breakable joy cons that are $80 to replace oh god fucking those joy cons this is why i'm like so as much as a nintendo fan as i am that joy con shit is just so repugnant it's always and, something dude with every nintendo's oh, i'm i'm like, super please stuff like the, the the ds and the 3ds yeah and the uh version of it every time something just something breaks something just like either something breaks or they come out with like a better version later down the road which is like because the 3ds had the most like fantastically shithole launch of all time also don't forget if denied they would not have copyright claimed every fucking rom website in the history of the world they wouldn't make it so it's very hard for me to play anything yeah and they wouldn't have had a policy of taking monetization from every content creator's Nintendo stuff for years. Yeah, which they only recently stopped we because started I started changing that. Yeah, which is again only recent changes as of now. But yeah, I don't know. Japanese companies are fucking weird. I don't understand them. If you if you ever companies don't give a shit about anything except for their Japanese company. Have you ever uh, like do you so this is something where it's like when did do you remember when you learned about the idea of a Japanese company is that you're there for your entire life? So have you ever wondered why there was like a brief moment in time of like there was no Mega Man stuff, and that was because K uh, and Afune left, and he was always known as like the 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 father behind Mega Man, regardless of Mega if Man he wasn't Man guy. Yeah. Yeah. But once he left the company, he basically was like, well, we're not working on N- Mega Man anymore because fuck that guy. And then they waited for Mighty Number no. 9 to fail <laughs> to be like, Mega Man's back, everyone. And they, God, Mighty Number no. 9. I don't even want to talk about that shit. That, that, is a, that was when people actually started to learn that actually it turned out that Inafune never made any of the games. It was actually that he had the ideas behind the games and then he never actually made them. So it made it so when he was actually in charge of the uh-huh. thing from the get-go, it did not go as everyone had thought it would. <laughs> this shit sucks. 
it was so bad. It was so unfortunate oh, too. Shit. And then I oh, want to say man. basically everything. I remember. Yeah, go ahead. I remember when we when like we first heard about it and they had their stupid fucking Kickstarter and all that shit, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, they said, um, by the way, we're gonna open up the goal more because we're thinking about making like a TV series and we want like an entertainment universe out of him. Yep. And it th- they hadn't even made the game yet, and they were talking all this shit, and finally the game came out, and it was just absolute fucking garbage. And it was a really slow denial, too. People were, like, going, like, well, it's early access, so we got the start of it, I guess. And then it turned out, like, no, Don't dude. get better. No, this didn't work out. And then the worst, I think the funniest thing of all is that new Mega Man game took the Mighty Number no. 9 concept and did it better. <laughs> <laughs> like that that game was yeah, it really did it was really like that it was fueled by contempt what is the what was the basic thing but that was also the same reason why we stopped getting street fighters for a while is because the main dude behind street fighter uh left the company so then they were like well there's no one to hear to like basically say like we need to make street fighter games so guess what we're not doing anymore <laughs> we're not making street fighter games anymore and that's what happened until um Ono-san, I believe that's his name. Ono-san came up and was like, how about, no, we make, yeah. how about we make Street Fighter 4? And they're like, okay, I guess, sure, why not? If you want to make some weird... Like, Seriously, please. <laughs> we need money. Let's make Street Fighter 4. Yeah, and then through him, we were able to get uh, basically fighting games back for a bit. At least on the Capcom side. And to be fair, I think Capcom still technically works on Street Fighter 5. Yes. It was just a kind of a bummer at launch. I haven't really played it all that much but i died so that was the perfect (laughs) that was the perfect uh summary (laughs) of what it's like with japanese companies they're weird and i want to really think that it's only weird because it's like a culture clash you know what i mean like it's the same idea of like when i look at something and i go like how come it is this way and it's because it's a, a like a clash of ideals of like because i grew up in specifically america and i understand how like american po- business works i guess but the idea of just like staying in one place for the rest of your life seems crazy when our entire resume is built on like so what are the other places you've been <laughs> please tell us about yeah, the- what other shit have you done exactly so for them to go like i don't so at that point i'm go like how do you even get into a company like if all the companies are based off of that kind of idea how do you even break into a place and also i've just completely fucked up because now i'm gonna die on this tiny shelf oh please please don't kill me <laughs> i uh, my kingdom to not die from fucking pitfalls this is the one thing i don't like about this game it is the fact that there is platforming in it in the action game oh i got a turkey though so it's all it, good. It's very bad platforming. It is not the greatest platforming. I will say that it is fun to beat people up. I would have much preferred it if this was just a straight up beat em up. Ho, ho, ho. Hello, little boy. <laughs> it's me, General Blue. Fortunately, you will be taking that treasure. Not you guys again. See, General Blue doesn't even get like a fucking screen. They understand that you don't need to deal with this asshole. I also want to say that... Sure um, yeah, he's shirtless. Is that when Bulma tries to seduce him? But he's shirtless now that you. Oh yeah, he is shirtless. I forget how does he? Did he just kick me? Did he just full on big ass kick me? He did. Oh, oh because he... he shows up in his in his Stroheim uniform. He's in his Stroheim outfit. That's right. I forget. Doesn't he fight Krillin and then he loses his shirt? Or am I thinking of something else? Point point is, is so. that scene missing? How did this man lose his shirt? And I really wish he had it back. Get over here, General Blue. Oh, what? And then there's that weird scene where he, like... Uh, say that again, because you got hard, would... hardcore cut this out. This will work. General Blue. Oh, is uh, the, the weird scene at Comedy House where he, like, ties everybody up with psychic powers and just drops a bomb in there. Oh, that is weird. General Blue is weird. Oh, my God. The cave is starting to collapse. Oh, that bulma mouth. What are you doing, honey? No, thank you. Please just put put the mouth down for now. We have to escape. We won't make it. Again, sometimes some of the Bulma art is very good, and then sometimes the Bulma art is not good. We got the three star ball. Yeah, the, the art where she looks like Wolverine with her mouth open like that is not the greatest. I'm the best at what I do, and the best at what I do is accidentally showing my vagina to old men. 
Dragon Ball is in my grandpa's. Oh, see, now, see, here's the tiny mouth. The return of tiny mouth. That's a regular mouth. Really? Okay. And then Bulma never helped Goku again, thus ending Dragon Ball. <laughs> the end. Everybody's happy. Da 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 da. Oh, we're going to the land of Korin. Uh, but that's going to be it for us for right now. Thank you, everyone, for actually like get your final Nintendo stuff in <laughs> before we end this so we can say that everything's good. <laughs> that's that's it. That's all I got. Okay, yeah. Uh, Sucks. Yeah, and I say that uh, Nintendo's a company that should always have their feet to the fire, but you should hold every company to the fire. <laughs> especially in these trying times but anyway for everyone else out there hope you enjoyed this i don't know how to end series that isn't dokkan where i say don't play dokkan so goodbye everyone we'll see you on the next dragon ball adventure for now don't look at dragon ball adventures or whatever this is called yeah you probably shouldn't well first of all just look at this fucking goku rocking back and forth which i'm a big fan of actually this one animation he's got is a powerful stance though it is a powerful stance this is the same stance i take when i'm about to go into a legends fight which is why i lose most of them <laughs> no defenses all right everyone goodbye <laughs>